Okay, uh, say you've got some uh, family videos and you want to bring them into Ubuntu, but you don't know quite how. If you've got a DV camcorder, um, you're going to be using FireWire. Um, if you've got a regular digital camera, you can just go ahead and use USB. In either case, you probably might want to try out Kino, um, but with the FireWire especially. And how do you get it to work in FireWire? Bear with me. We use the terminal interface. We go in here and we type up. Uh, and let me zoom this up for uh, those who don't have HD capabilities. What you do is do GK sudo, and then you type up Kino. And that's the whole, that's only command you have to type up in the terminal. It handles it all for you. It'll ask you for your password. It's already asked for my password, so it doesn't need validation twice. And uh, it comes up in Kino. And then all you do is you just go to Capture, and it'll instantly turn to your uh, terminal. I mean, to your um, uh, DV camcorder. It should just instantly see it. And uh, I'm going to start my camcorder recording and uh, you can see that I'm here and that to show you that it's really is there you go and it's hooked up via firewire if I uh, well you won't be able to see it because <laughs> of the mirror um, I can't actually show you that it's hooked up but it is hooked up and so it's inside the video of course so it must be hooked up so enough validation of the of what's actually happening here and so let's just aim it at the screen there so it is up and uh, you can control the the camera from this you can hit stop and it should follow oh you do it there and it should stop oh come on um avc mode stop oh i see Darn it, it's already in record. I take it out of record and uh, I can I can do a capture. I can hit stop, I can do rewinds and all sorts of stuff from here. But I'm gonna hit record and it's not gonna be I don't think it's capturing, that's just the clock it's changing, but it's not in capture mode. If you wanted to capture it to a file, then you would put somewhere in here it's it's it would put its capture file on root. You could put it somewhere else. You just type up a, a temp or um, some folder like your home directory, which would be home uh, slash home slash uh, Kiernan in this case for me, and then the name of the file. So it would be my cap uh, and in DB format. And then, then you just all you had to do is hit capture, and it would start capturing to that. So it's capturing right now, as you can hear, because it's capturing the audio. And then I can hit stop, and I, there should be a video inside of this directory inside the desktop. Actually, it's in my home directory because I didn't tell it to go to desktop. And so I do this search by time there it is but it's got root permissions so what I have to do to get it freed I'm gonna hit cancel there quit quit to get it freed from that uh, I think you can change the properties from here let me see uh, permissions now you have to be root so what you do um, is you open up a terminal I'm going to zoom this up again so everybody can see. You do CD and you right click on this, say always on top so it stays on top, it won't go into the background. And you drag and drop this folder there, and that'll take me to my home folder. And then you type uh, sudo chmod. 777 my cap 
and if you hit the tab it will fill it out and you hit return you have to put in your password and uh, that will change the permissions on the DV file you have to have admin privileges which you normally do whenever you install Ubuntu um, your user account gets admin privileges oh yeah by the way if you want to change the password to root this is how you do it sudo passwd and then you hit return and then it asks you for the password that you want for root and that then it sets it automatically um, and that's how you are able to log in as root which would be su minus and then you could put in the password you gave root and uh, then you can go ahead to the same folder if you want to and uh, do it directly without the sudo see my cap like that and then you could you could change uh, the user change uh, change ownership uh, to Kiernan for my cap and then change group to Kiernan for my cap and now it's completely owned by my user Kiernan and so this video file should be usable should be able to play it back by double clicking on it so it's capturing right now as you can hear because it's captured. And you can even load it inside of Blender. So let's try that. Split the area here. Bring up video sequence editor, shift A. Whoops. Shift A, movie audio. Then we go to um, home, Kiernan. And we look for desktop. And then we look for our video file which is sort by time uh, on the bottom here I think oh it's not in desktop it went into Kiernan and regular oh, okay I forgot about that so in sort it should be on the bottom I think let's do it by name then see if what it's called it's called my cap so it should be M there it is and then middle click on it and I should have set it up for 30 frames per second uh, so that I could let me do a video sequence here image preview there it is so it's capturing right now as you can hear because it's capturing the audio so there you go and that's how you would edit it inside of or you could use Kino so there you go that's how you uh, bring uh, DV videos in and plus if you want to do this without using Kino you can use DV grab and the man page for DV grab is here so man DV grab and it'll dump it out to MPEG2 transport stream fairly easy to use too so there you go